At last, the greatest obstacle, the Atrato Swamp. A 30 mile wide, soggy plain that is thousands of feet deep in places, on which floats a deceiving crust of almost dry land. Attempting to travel from Chile to Alaska by bicycle, three New Zealanders are the first to cross the Atrato. Whenever anybody turns around and expresses an opinion, including this is impossible, someone accepts the challenge and they generally get away with it. That's one of the reasons why we're here. Well, the best day's cutting or slashing or pushing or bashing away through the, the eight foot tall rubbish was about two kilometers and uh, that was pretty pretty hellish you, you have to uh, do it in two stages one you carry your rucksack through second you would return for your bicycle i think the the most depressing part of it the apart from the fact that you're in water ankle or calf or even thigh deep all day long is that uh, even when you're eating it's very seldom a dry place to to sit you have to squat or or just stand and the last thing uh, that you have to do uh, at night you crawl into your hammock that you put up over a lake you're standing uh, nearly up to your knees in water and you have the horrible job of getting out of your soaking wet clothes. They've been soaking wet all day anyway. Climbing into a nice dry hammock. Well, this is fine, but you know that that water's waiting for you the next day, just as deep and just as unpleasant. I think this has been the, the part that's got us down, all of us down mentally more than anything else. 